Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say you my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to Kennedy. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. Come on, guys. Come on. But listen, we, it's up to y'all what y'all want to do. I mean, look, we got to trust. Come on. Call us what we got to get motion and movement. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I got a lot of this stuff to get off my chest. So if y'all know, y'all just know the news that happened yesterday. And the day before. Obviously, the Milwaukee Bucks fired Adrian Griffin. That was no surprise in my opinion. But the only thing, the only surprising thing was timing. Okay. 30 and 13 record and you fired him. But I seen that coming. But... You hire Doc Rivers. Look at my face. You hire a coach that is, in my opinion, the most overrated coach in NBA history. And I'm going to say this because I am not trying to bash this man. I like him. I like his personality. I like watching him. I like listening to him when he's on, when he's analyzing the games on ESPN, right? This man jumped from team to team. Only got it done back in 2008, which in my opinion is the most glorified NBA championship in NBA history. Since then, he got bounced. Clippers didn't get it done. Many times. Then again, done. Where it was in the bubble, where it was before that, with Chris Paul and Blake Griffin, where it was with Kawhi PG and the roster and the rest of the roster, still didn't get done in the bubble. Then he jumps to Philly, Joel B MVP, the best big man in the league, the best probably arguably the best player in the league. With James Harden. Now, and that, in my opinion, that was not all Doc Rivers' fault. That was mostly James Harden in the game seven, especially. Versus his former team, Doc Rivers' his former team. Didn't get it done. And we're not going to talk about the, the record he has in game sevens. Worst in NBA history. Out of all coaches. But since he's a big name, you want to hire him. Milwaukee, y'all are desperate. And I, I forgot to do my intro, man. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Will. We'll be back and give you another video. I apologize, apologize for that. But I, I'm I'm ready to right now. Because this is a, it's one, it's a couple of coaches out there that a lot of fans even said they should have hired. Instead, especially that one particular coach. So Mark Jackson ain't enough? The Mark Jackson that made Curry and Clay the, the players they are today. The Mark Jackson, who is my opinion, my favorite broadcaster to listen to on ESPN, especially when it comes to the playoff games and NBA Finals. Mama, there goes that man. That man, he still doesn't have a coaching job? But since Doc Rivers is the big name, like I said, it's Doc Rivers. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna get Milwaukee over the hump. He's gonna let Giannis and Dame dominate the league because it's Doc Rivers. Milwaukee, y'all, 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 y'all look lost, confused, and desperate. Mark Jackson still without a job. He's he's the biggest black ball coach in the NBA right now. And let's not forget Nate McMillan. Let's not forget Mike Budenholzer. Now I, I understand why Mike, Mike Budenholzer is not on the team. He's not the same person right now because of what happened. The tragedy that happened to his brother. But there's no way in hell he should not be have a coaching job in his league right now. Now, again, that's up to him if he still wants to coach in his league. But I believe he. Wants to right now. And he still doesn't have a coaching job. 
But Doc Rivers, who got let go last year, got fired last couple of seasons. He keeps hopping it from team to team. Like he'll train. Milwaukee, y'all better win the championship. Y'all better. I, I'm speaking to Doc Rivers. You better get done this year. Because all these coaches out here, Milwaukee, y'all decide to go with him. The worst percentage in game sevens. Choke three one. Four three long leads. I believe three or four three long leads. Has one championship on his resume back in 2008, which is the most glorified championship I've ever, ever heard. KG, Paul Pierce, all of them talk about. And you coach Kawhi, PG, Joel B, Patrick Beverly, James Harden. Now you're going to coach Giannis, Dane, Chris Middleton, Brooke Lopez. The only time you got it done was with KG, Paul Pierce, and Ray Allen. And Kendra Perkins. Milwaukee. I'm speaking to the organization. Y'all better get it done this year. Because I don't want to hear no excuses. Especially from Dar I don't want to hear nothing. Y'all keep choosing this man over Mark Jackson, over Nate McMillan, who's proven himself also, over Mike Boonehoser, and especially Mark Jackson. I, I, I'm, I'm pissed that he doesn't have a coaching job. I'm pissed. The man hasn't had a coaching job in a decade. But Doc Rivers has been on... Three to four teams coaching in the last couple of years. Milwaukee, I ain't got no excuses now. None. It's the most desperate move, in my opinion. That's all I say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give your boy a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Was this a was this a great signing by the Milwaukee Bucks? Which they gave Doc Rivers a 40 million signing bonus and contract. Comment down below who's the, who's a real coach supposed to be coaching this Milwaukee Bucks team. I, I believe I have a great feeling what you are all going to say. Till the next time, this has been your boy Will, and I'm out.